For every astronaut, a spacewalk, known as extravehicular activity, or EVA, is the highlight of a mission to space. But it's more than just a simple walk outside the spacecraft. There are many things to remember. So training for an EVA is long and arduous. Here at the Neutral Buoyancy Laboratory in Houston, Texas, ESA astronaut Alexander Gerst and his crewmate, NASA's Serena Ornon Chancellor, are undergoing their last EVA training session before they travel to the International Space Station later this year. The class will last for eight hours, six of them spent underwater. Inside heavy spacesuits, the astronauts practice maneuvers to prepare for the many tasks they may need to perform outside the space station. It's a reminder of just how much expertise and knowledge each astronaut takes into orbit, and how much information they need to retain during training. When you fly a second time to space, the training actually gets much easier. The first time you fly, you have the problem that you get a lot of detail. Um, people tell you a lot of, lot of things that you can never remember all. Because of the experience of my first flight, I can just cut out the unimportant things and concentrate on the things that are really important. For the upcoming mission, Alex and his colleagues need to prepare for every possible scenario. No. Safety okay, is paramount. All right, as, smoke in no to... as the astronauts react to a simulated onboard fire, specialized trainers scrutinize their contingency plan and behaviors. With the mission fast approaching, the in orbit schedule has become more defined. Alex's training is being steered towards the specific tasks that he'll be carrying out on board the ISS. As flight engineer, he'll be assigned a large amount of maintenance work to keep the station's systems running smoothly. He's also been given a broad-ranging scientific and technological research program. This will be the main objective of his mission, with particular regard to benefits for Earth and future space missions. We have many experiments on board. We have in the order of two to three hundred in every expedition, so I'm really looking forward to conducting these. It's very important to see the science that we do on the space station, not just as a one-off experiment that we do in one mission, like my expedition, but it's a series of experiments that develop over time. The imminent mission will be Alexander Gerst's second long-duration stay on board the ISS. He'll gain a wealth of additional spaceflight experience, which will be invaluable to ESA. And his ongoing research in orbit will provide benefits for the rest of us back on Earth.